Hello guys welcome to my channel I am your host BL Guruji and a few days ago I had made a video of ranking GMM TV BL so I had said I hate Ton Hun Chonilithi and my gear and your gown so then I ask you in a voting poll that which BL series I should review next so the majority of you voted for my gear and your gown so here is my review. The production team apparently didn't trust the original novel enough to give it a direct dramatization, instead opting for a life lesson approach that is completely absent from the book, and this in itself is done too poorly to have much impact. The book that this series is based on is a romantic comedy, pure and simple. It follows an outline that the series does keep intact to some degree, despite the bitter rivalry between a high school Prince and the school's nerdy top student, the top student develops a one-sided love for the prince that ends up breaking his heart, only to have the situation reversed once both boys get to university. The top student has decided never to fall in love again while the prince, who has now become one of the most popular boys on campus, tries everything he can to win him over. The book is very sweet and funny, with some touching moments along the way. Rather than stick to the novel, though, the series forces two themes into the story. That requires some unfortunate disruption of the plot and the relationship dynamics. So if you have watched my video regarded to ranking GMM TV BL series if you don't watch it. Go ahead watch it if you did have watched so you might know that I don't like my gear and your gown and I ranked it on the series that I hate I know I might be harsh so listen to me first. When I first heard that GMM TV is going to make this into a series I like the cast and love the series title. The series is not unique and another college BL and follow. The trendy rival to love it a concept no new thing it's not like that I hate this trope or college BL like there are some college BL that I love like Dark Blue Kiss, Sotus, and my engineer this series that I love leaving behind the main concept of this series, I would like to point out the slow paced story development. I do realize that we need some time to understand who the characters are and what their environments are, but seriously I don't think that we needed 7 episodes with them in high school. They could tell us their high school days in just 3 episodes. I felt that they were trying to expand their year as seniors for no reason. I mean you only have 12 episodes to tell me your story, do not spend seven of them being in high school. But to be fair, when the university chapter began, the series became more interested. So regarding the acting, I don't wanna sugarcoat the acting was bad especially the main lead it and party I don't get connected with the character and I think that the actors have potential but the script didn't help them and the chemistry was on and off sometimes it was good and so if you have watched my video, Regarded to ranking GMM TV BL series if you don't watch it go ahead watch it if you did. Have watched so you might know that I don't like my gear and your gown and I ranked it on. The series that I hate I know I might be harsh so listen to me first. When I first heard. That GMM TV is going to make this into a series I like the cast and love the series title. The series is not unique and another college BL and follow the trendy rival to lover too concept no new thing it's not like that I hate this trope or college BL like there are some college BL that I love like Dark Blue Kiss, Sotus, and my engineer this series that I love leaving behind the main concept of this series, I would like to point out the slow paced story development. I do realize that we need some time to understand who the characters are and what their environments are, but seriously I don't think that we needed. 7 episodes with them in high school. They could tell us their high school days in just 3 episodes. I felt that they were trying to expand their year as seniors for no reason. I mean you only have 12 episodes to tell me your story. Do not spend 7 of them being in high school. But to be fair, when the university chapter began, the series became more interested. So regarding the acting. I don't wanna sugarcoat the acting was bad especially. The main lead it and party I don't get connected with the character and I think that the actors have potential but the script didn't help them and the chemistry was on and off. 
Sometimes it was good and there are a lot of moments of silence between those two. TBH. I. Do not see them as people who have feelings for each other. Actually, I do not even get. The vibes that they are friends. On the other hand, Fiat is amazing here. I mean there are. Some scenes that are awkward for me, but still, I feel that he is the best in this series. His b-roll is implemented in the best possible way. Moreover, JJ is really good here. I like the friendship between Wan and Pure and how Wan values their friendship. Also, folk. Actaron has great potential with acting. He is still young and he has a lot to learn but if he invests in acting classes then in the future he would be one of the best actors. The story for me, it started out well enough, but then just lagged. I felt the story could have been told in half the amount of episodes. And the pure playboy thing was maxed out. At the end, when pure apologized to folk for cheating on him, he said but I was thinking of you the whole time. Really and it and party they just need some self confidence. Because both of them like each other since school time but didn't confess to each other. Because they thought they are not good enough for each other it thinking he is not rich. And good enough and party thinking that he is not good enough for it. As much as I liked. Party, there is no freaking way he could have won that contest. Everything he did was a complete failure. I get that Pali wins in the story but, at the very least, the scriptwriters could have given him some sort of believable talent. As it was, Pali's win was incomprehensible, unless every other competitor was in a coma. From there, whenever Pali seems about to fail in his attempt to win the competition, it shows up to berate him for not fulfilling his promise, that is, the promise he was coerced into making to a thief. For the return of a stolen item, the fact that the series attempts to glorify this situation into something profound just shows how dim-witted the writers are. Pali would have been perfectly justified to punch it in the nose to get that earring back. In addition to bullying Pali over the contest, it is also the agent for delivering on the stand up for yourself theme. Over the course of their freshman year in college, he does this by showing up to publicly torture Pali in a number of circumstances. It's all for Pali's own good, you see. Its logic is that if Pali gets abused and embarrassed enough, he'll finally learn to stand up for himself. Ironically, when Pali finally does stand up for himself by confronting it over its constant abuse, it gets furious, but then Pali immediately breaks down crying, so maybe it has a point there. Another problem I have with the stand up for yourself theme is that I never get the sense that Pali has a problem doing this. In high school, in fact, Pali is the leader of a club that is in direct competition with a club led by it, and this requires him to stand up to it a number of times. Eventually, Pali's own parents become complicit in this stand up for yourself scheme of its, which only serves to make them look like bad parents. We never see how and why they come to do that, so it just becomes more of a series lack of logic. The series has some good points that I had to mention like the pureate storyline seemed a bit sudden and severe, but it's never a bad idea to promote safe sex. The final episode dealt a little bit with homophobia and acceptance from parents. I liked folks line. Paraphrasing, parents are usually fine with it unless it affects them personally. Sadly, that's often very true and one of the things like that how Pali parents think too. Take consult with a psychiatrist and talks about some mental illness and condition of Pali. Not expressing himself and just doing whatever his parents told them to do even it hurts. Him like even he has to break up with it that which very few BL series have done that and bisexual character exist even though the series mainly does not show any representation. The side couple folk pure clearly admit their sexuality if the main lead has also shown a bit of LGBT representation might have ranked a little bit higher. I feel that this series had really high expectations, as GMMTV was involved, and it was the first BL series that was aired after two together. Everyone was, maybe, expecting something similar to Together and, in the end, 
We got something monotonous. Do not get me wrong. I think that two Jether had a lot of flaws and I did not really like it but it was a little bit watchable and the acting was good. So overall my rating is 5.5 if the series does not have these sensible points I might have rated it 3 so yeah this was my review for my gear and your gun and don't forget me tell your opinion in the comment section and tell me which series I should review next and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for BL news and reviews and rankings.